I am Sukanya. I work as a family therapist and counselor in Bangalore. I have been practicing therapy for the past 15 years. I've done my masters in psychotherapy and counseling. I help people with issues like uh, stress, anxiety, depression, uh, marital issues, adolescence issues and issues dealing with chronic illnesses. I've also worked extensively with the cancer patients and their families. And personally too, I'm a survivor of breast cancer. So I know exactly the kind of toll cancer takes on the patient and the family, both physically and emotionally. When you're faced with a cancer diagnosis, I think your world and your entire life turns upside down. And you can never really be prepared enough for this diagnosis. So why is cancer so scary? I think there are a lot of reasons for this. Firstly, I think the disease comes with a lot of baggage, right? Uh, right from movies to books to television soaps, deal with cancer like a huge big Greek tragedy, replete with tears and death. While in fact it's not so, right? There are, in fact, actually more people die of heart disease than cancer. And cancer, if it is uh, diagnosed early, is completely curable. Uh, secondly, I think uh, the process of chemotherapy and uh, radiation is far more scary than the disease itself. But with the right tools, I think one can manage to deal with all these fears. Thirdly, I think the treatment is a long haul. And uh, there are certain challenges like uh, changes in your physical appearance. While some may be uh, temporary, some are permanent. Uh, but with right help from therapy, you can cope with it using the right tools. Counseling or therapy helps people respond to different challenges in their lives and the associated emotions using healthy coping strategies. While a counselor uh, may not be able to solve all your problems, they certainly provide a safe environment for the cancer patients to air their concerns. Uh, it's completely, it's a completely confidential process, so you can be completely honest with your uh, therapist and uh, without the fear of being judged. Uh, also, the therapist is removed from your situation and not emotionally close to you, so they'll be able to offer you a more balanced and, uh, you know, objective perspective. Uh, while the, your family is your primary support system, a therapist will be able to give you a more balanced perspective because the family is too emotionally close to you. Just like a doctor does not treat his own family, he refers him to other doctors in the same way, the family will not, may not be able to deal with all the emotional turmoil that a cancer patient may be going through. Coping with cancer can be very challenging even for the best of us and your therapist will be able to help you, uh, will teach you new coping strategies which you, which you may not have thought of before. And uh, some of the issues that come up during therapy would be difficulty in dealing with the cancer diagnosis itself. So you can share with your therapist your feelings about that. Uh, you will also go, be going through a lot of difficult emotions like anxiety, depression, fear about the outcome of the treatment, etc. Which again, your therapist will be able to help you with the tools to cope with all this effectively. Uh, airing your fears and talking about it to your therapist will help you uh, feel less overwhelmed and uh, be more in control of the situation because I think cancer is often about you know you feel like you're losing control over your life so the more you talk about this and share with someone who's uh, you know skilled in handling all this the better equipped you are to deal with the challenges of the treatment you will also be going through a lot of uh, side effects of the treatment like pain and fatigue and uh, in therapy, we have useful tools like mindfulness and cognitive behavior therapy to help you deal with issues like pain and fatigue, uh, along with yoga and meditation and relaxation. There would also be sensitive issues like your own sexuality, your body image and intimacy issues, which probably you may not be too comfortable discussing with your medical team. And uh, a therapist is a good person for you to uh, you know, sort out all these issues and uh, talk to them frankly and honestly again without the fear of being judged. You would also have a lot of questions about your treatment, uh, you know, confusion about uh, what, what it is, what kind of uh, treatment you need to take, what kind of alternative therapies, etc. Talking to your therapist about all the options available will give you clarity and help you deal better with your, uh, be more clear with your uh, medical, uh, medical team.
also your family would be going through a lot of changes in routine uh, and going through their own stress so do seek the therapist's help to help you and the family deal with all these issues together so uh, there are three kinds of counseling that you can opt for uh, one is individual therapy where you can talk personally about the issues that bother you uh, intimate issues which you can't discuss with anyone else the second is family therapy or couples counseling where you can uh, process uh, issues like intimacy sexuality etc uh, also the stress that the family is going through that can be sorted out in family therapy and there's a third kind of therapy which is group therapy where you'll be talking to others who are going through similar problems and often you might get interesting perspectives and learn new tools to deal with the disease from others it also gives you a sense of hope because people in group therapy will be in various stages of therapy some would be going through the process some would have finished the process so looking at someone who has successfully completed the treatment gives you a sense of hope so this is why uh, it's very important for you to seek help from a therapist because it will give you much more clarity it will help you deal with the challenges better and help you take charge of your life